everyone. My name is Clarence Hendricks. Currently, I'm a service coordinator at Paradise Haven Homes. I work with the elderly and the disabled. I'm also a retired city planner. I retired from the Department of Planning and Development in 1999. Regarding to this morning's movie, Air, it's a fantastic movie, and it goes to show that no matter what profession you're in, there's always a business side of that profession. And it was a great movie because it basically addresses the need for basketball players to recognize that playing basketball is more than bouncing the ball. It's about pursuing and understanding the business end of basketball. And that's what this is all about. The, the marketing and the selling of the Nike brand, their shoe. And the shoe, while the shoe is important, what's really important is the, the foot that goes in that shoe. And in this case, it was Michael Jordan. So it's great to understand how business works, how the corporate community works, and I appreciate this movie. And you were here with Finger Talk with Clara uh, Hubbard. Yeah, I was here with the great Clara Hubbard who works with seniors. She's Chicago's answer to senior citizen needs and services. She's a tremendous woman. She's great for the city of Chicago, and we're honored to have her. Oh, God bless you. We're honored to have her. God bless you. God Thank bless you. So, you. you are and so continue awesome. continue the work. Yes, I shall. Yes, you will. All right, another movie going. Another movie going. Come on. Come on, sister. We're going. All right, tell us about your thoughts on the movie. Uh, the movie was uh, very enlightening. A lot of things that's going on that you never knew about. And... Uh, it was a very good movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoy what you're doing, Miss Hubbard. Are you opening up some doors for the senior citizens? And I want to say something on the, the uh, fireman that got killed. And it, John Pelt. Yes. It's his son. He's a member of my church. Oh, God bless. Yes. yes. We're going 87 today. Yes. And uh, just keep the family in your prayer. Amen. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me. I loved it. Absolutely. It All right, one more. Come on, superstar. Let's get this fine lady right here. Yeah. How you doing, beautiful? <laughs> All right. Oh, what was your theater experience today, girl? Oh, Tell us it about it. I thought it was amazing. It was so amazing. I met Miss Jordan once, years and years, years ago, when I was working at Northwestern, and she was, she was just a very stunning lady. But you, you, you never really knew, I mean, you heard about the power behind Michael and, and what he did and how strong she was. But, you, but in the movie, you see that he also had that same mindset. And that he, and he talked about the future, not just the right now. Yeah. And I was, I mean, I, I think, I, I teach teenagers, and I think every teenager should see this movie. Every teenager should see this movie. Because that's how powerful it is. Amen. All right. So she was another guest. Come on, William Scott. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. All right. Come on. Okay, so we are still. Let me turn this around. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to get. If y'all can see me, this is Senior Talk with Claire Hubbard. I hope I'm on film. But it was amazing. The mother stood up. You can't get to my son until. And she did not sell out. Nor did she panic. You know what I'm saying? She didn't sell out or she panicked. I hope I'm in the picture. Come on, come on, Ryan Williams Scott. No, I'm ready. Get ready. So tell us about your theater experience today. The biggest movie surprise that I've seen in decades. Little did I ever think I'd see a movie about a black mother yes. who made history and turned the changed the economics of the world. Yes. Is doing the right thing and standing up for her son and what she knows was the greatness in mm. him. This was I'm so glad once again, Clara. Thank you. Thank Chatham. Thank your followers. To see this, like you and I both know, this should be instantly played in high schools, grammar schools, churches, senior buildings, because this is what we need to see instead of the usual Trump stuff, which we get every night, and Tennessee stuff, yeah, which yeah, we get Tennessee. every night. Absolutely. This was a miracle movie. That's Praise right, the right. Lord. All right. So I hope we still are. We still on here? We still in there together? I hope so. But everyone, this is Clara Hubbard and William Scott, Amen. one of our senior advocates. So you talk at the movies. We'll be back at it soon. God bless you. We'll see you soon. See you at the movies. All right. <laughs> I hope I did.
Tell us about your theater experience with Senior Talk today. Well, hey, we're so ha- glad to be with Claire Hurst, Senior Talk Radio, and just bringing what she does always, bring the community together. And uh, on, on this great, uh, what you call it, Good Friday, I had the pleasure of seeing a movie last week up on the north side at the Regal Theater. And then, you know, you kind of see the movie four or five times. <laughs> so I will keep coming and coming because it's a powerful piece. You just got to see how it is when we do business and negotiate. I was so proud. Uh, as you know, the mother's always the brain of the to the family. And uh, so I just want to say, man, you got to go see this film. It's great. It's all about air, the movie, and uh, I'm a former athlete, so I just can appreciate when our people can negotiate for our best interests and not let people control our destiny. So you, she should be commended, and the dad, what they did with negotiate my contract, changed the paradigm of sports in basketball. We love you. We're on 87th Street. You got to come in, support your own companies and your own businesses. We love you again. And who and are you? You didn't say your name. My name is Reva Fellows, co-founder of Books on the Ball, a basketball advice prevention program. It's on 56 and uh, Halston, where we serve over 60, 65 students, students in terms of violence prevention. So it's books over balls, not basketball over books. We wrap around services, mental health, and up to our mental hope, and not mental health. So thank you. Appreciate you. Reba Fellows, CEO of Books on Balls.